Welcome everyone to your Go Market Update and Charts of the Day. It's the 24th of October 2023. Mike Smith, Senior Analyst at Go Markets to lead you around what's happening as we approach the midpoint of the Asian session today. Of course, across the news, we saw a mixed session in the US overnight, continuing concerns over what's happening in the Middle East. And of course, we've got big earnings coming out this week out of the US. After looking quite positive, in the middle of the session, we gave up those gains and only the NASDAQ ended up eking out small gains. Indices are all testing key technical levels to the downside. And it'll be interesting to see where we go from here. US futures are mildly positive in Asian trading so far. Asian markets are following that weak lead from Wall Street. The ASX is marginally positive, uh, but is off the highs of the early part of the session. We saw the VIX pull back from the highest level since May and European futures are pointed to a cautious open at this stage for this afternoon. We saw bond yields drop and as a result, the US dollar index fell to its lowest level in two weeks. It is holding support at the minute, although the FX market is pretty choppy. Gold is challenging the next resistance at 1980 in Asian trading after pausing yesterday. Copper is holding support and all fell again after a test of short-term resistance. One of the major stories over the last few days has been Bitcoin and its significant move higher. Another surge we saw this morning. We'll have a look at a chart in a moment. It's one of our charts of interest. Earnings will be in focus as things ramp up this week, as well as what's happening in the Middle East. We've got global PMI data due throughout the day. Australian and Japanese numbers disappointed. Uh, we've got UK jobs also due. Watch out for PMI data coming out of the Eurozone, the UK and the US later on. A couple of charts that caught our eye today. As we've already intimated, Bitcoin is worth a look. We'll put it on the weekly chart to give you context. And you can see the strength of the move up this week already. Reached 30,000 yesterday morning and just continued to go up through the course of the day. And we're up higher again today. If we just bring this up, we can see that level that we've marked on around about 34,000. It is looking very strong. We did have an early pop. If you just put it on a short-term chart, you can see as it opened, the next candle surged up to just under 35,800 before pulling back, a bit of profit taking going on. And now we're getting buying coming back in during the course of the session. I'll be watching for that breach of 36,000 as a level of interest from here. Slim pickings on stock today, but we did notice SGR are having some interesting price action at Star Entertainment Group. You can see we fell down during September on the back of adverse corporate news. Uh, but you can see since then we have traded within a range with 65 cents the top end of that. We're now challenging that again, and one wonders if we breach this level, whether we could be moving back up to close that gap. Maybe back up to 76 in the short term, which would be a very healthy 12% on a stock that looks as though the market's saying it's been sold enough already for now and could be preparing itself for a move to the upside. Worthwhile being patient on this until we do get a breach of 65, however. Trade safe and see you again soon. Bye bye for now.